Today's video from Sharpel, we're taking a look at tax or VAT rate programming on the XCA213 register. Um, so just go a couple through a couple of basics to start with. The machine, as with most cash registers, has four tax rates on it, uh, which can be set to different rates. The tax is all defaulted to zero, and the tax system is what's known as add-in, which means if you sell one pound through the register, that pound is inclusive of any tax. Um, so if you sell, for example, £1.20 through the till and the tax is set to 20% add-in, it means you've sold £1 plus 20p tax. So that's the basics. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind is that all the departments and therefore all the PLUs default to tax rate 1. So if this machine I've got here is fresh out of the box. I've only just reset it. So my six department keys over here are all preset to tax rate one. If I set tax rate one, that means when I sell something through these departments, it's automatically um, going to apply that tax rate. So you've got to be very careful when you come on to do your PLU programming to make sure that you're putting your um, PLUs into the right departments and also that you've got your departments set up with the correct VAT rates. Um, so I'll start by setting um, tax rate 1 to 20% because that's the UK standard. Obviously by coincidence what's happening here in the UK at the moment is um, as a real result of hospitality being massively impacted by uh, the coronavirus lockdown. We've also got a, um, a couple of policies in place with temporary policies where the Chancellor is cutting the VAT on certain hospitality items um, down from 20% to 5%. So... Um, I'll include that, I'll incorporate that into the video as well. I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter on the registers as long as you're splitting out your sales into the correct department. So you've got alcohol separate from food. Um, what, what's causing the problem this time around is that you then need to make sure your soft drinks are split out as well. Um, but I'll show you how to do the VAT rates and then we can we can look at that in other videos. So on the register, all the programming is done in the PGM position. So you need to turn the key lock round to the PGM position, so you need the manager key in. And then you start by pressing subtotal. Then tax programming is under code 9, so you press 9, multiply. You now type in the VAT rate that you want to change. So the machine has 1, 2, 3 and 4 VAT or tax rates. I'm going to program tax rate 1 now, so I simply press 1. Then the multiply button again. Now you type in the tax rate, but it's not as straightforward as just typing in 20%. Um, what would be useful if you could refer to the manual, the flowchart at the top of page 17, um, goes into a bit more detail than I will, but effectively to set tax rate one at 20%, you type in 0, 0, 2, 0, followed by the decimal point, and then four zeros, followed by the multiply button, and then there's a lower tax amount. Um, I don't know anywhere that that applies to, so I always skip that. Subtotal. And then you can either go on, jump onto your second tax rate now, or, which is what I'm going to do, is finish and save it by pressing TLNS. You get a little printout on the till confirming tax 1, 20%. And I'll just go around and demonstrate what I meant about the departments being automatically applied. So this machine, I've done no programming on it other than the... Um, time and date settings I think. So I've sold £12 through department one. Before I did my programming that would have just sold £12. Um, I just work the camera without any um, tax on there. Now because I've set tax rate one to 20% it's showing £12 through department one um, and it's got net of £10 and then the VAT because obviously it's 20% is now at two pounds, so that's all correct. Um, so that's why I'm saying you've got to be careful when you change the VAT rate. You've got to double check when you do your PLU programming that you've got the right departments assigned to the correct PLUs, also the right tax rates assigned to the departments. Um, what I'm going to do now, we'll cover that sort of thing in separate videos, else this video will end up being about three hours long. I'm just going to go back and change the tax rate now, So, and I'll also set up a second tax rate just to show you how it works. So, say for example, you now want to set your tax rate to 5% instead of 20%. Uh, very similar procedure. Key background to PGM. 
ST9 to go into the tax code settings followed by the multiply button. We're going to reprogram tax rate 1 so we press 1 again and then we enter the multiply button and now we put in the tax rate so this time it's three zeros followed by the 5 for 5% then decimal point followed by four zeros then you hit the multiply key I always skip with ST and then TLNS to save and again you get your print out saying T1 5% so if we now ring a sale through department 1 again we'll put £12 through um, we'll make it easier actually we'll do it £10 department 1 cash the sale up without whacking the camera and you can see that's changed the tax rate straight away on that department 1 so I'm just going to show you how to set up tax rate 2 and then from there you'll be able to make your own uh, decisions about what to do. Obviously I should say a big disclaimer, I'm not, I don't work for the government, I'm not, um, I'm just a YouTuber basically who knows how to use cash registers so tax setting is your responsibility as a merchant to make sure that you're charging and declaring the correct taxes um, depending on what territory you're in and what product you're selling. Um, so yeah to change tax rate 2 or to set up tax rate 2 key round to PGM, ST, 9 followed by the multiply button to go into the tax settings and the only difference is because we're doing tax rate 2 we now hit 2 instead of 1 then the multiply and now we put our tax rate in so this can be whatever you need it to be so we've done I've changed 1 to 5 percent so I'm going to put this one at 20 percent which is 0, 0, 2, 0, decimal point four zeros followed by the multiply key ST and then TLNS. So now what we would do now is turn the key round to reg. You just this is crucial. You've now we've so we've now got two tax rates set up on this machine. We've got tax rate one at five percent, tax rate two at uh, twenty percent. So we've got to go and make sure all our departments and then PLUs are in the correct tax bracket. But I'll show you how to do that in a separate video on department and PLU programming. Um, so please subscribe to this channel if you found the video useful. Uh, so we're always posting new videos when we can on uh, Sharp Cash Registers. Um, so check those out. And you can also visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.